Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of updating the firmware on your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. Regularly updating your firmware is essential to ensure your device performs at its best and remains secure against potential threats. By keeping your firmware up to date, you can benefit from the latest features, bug fixes, and performance improvements. So, let's dive in and get your TP-Link extender running the latest firmware version. First, ensure you have your TP-Link extender, a computer with internet access and your Wi-Fi network information, including the network name and password, readily available. This will help streamline the firmware update process and avoid interruptions. Open your web browser and enter the IP address assigned to your TP-Link extender. After typing it in, press Enter to proceed to the login page of your extender settings. Enter your login credentials. If you haven't customized them, the default username is usually admin and the password is typically set to password. These are the initial credentials provided by TP-Link for accessing your extender. After you've successfully logged in, head over to the System Tools or Advanced section of your extender settings. Look for the Firmware Upgrade or Firmware Update option to initiate the process of updating your device's firmware. After you've successfully logged in, head over to the System Tools or Advanced section of your extender settings. Look for the Firmware Upgrade or Firmware Update option to initiate the process of updating your device's firmware. Once the firmware file has finished downloading, navigate to the Web Management page and click on Browse or Choose File. Locate the recently downloaded firmware file in your computer's directory and select it to proceed with the firmware update process. Next, proceed by clicking the Upgrade or Update button to initiate the firmware upgrade process. This may require a few minutes to complete. It's crucial not to power off or disconnect your extender during this time. Once the upgrade process is finished, your extender will automatically restart. In case it doesn't, you may need to manually reboot it by unplugging the device and then plugging it back in to ensure the update takes effect properly.